Hi guys, um, just going to uh, start up another simple build, uh, kind of along the same lines as the X-Wing fighter. Uh, just want to uh, spend a bit of time doing some practical weathering and stuff like that. I want to try the hairspray chipping technique and stuff. So. I decided to go ahead and try it on this 1 to 25 Humvee. Uh, has a pre painted body. Um, but I'm going to be painting it anyways. Like I said, I want to try the hairspray technique and stuff. So, uh, anyways, just uh, let me show you what's in the box. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so let's just take a look at uh, what's in the box. Uh, so we have the body, it's uh, pre-painted. Um, the idea behind the paint scheme apparently is this was a green Humvee that was painted tan to be used in Desert Storm. And all the wind-blown sand um, rubbed away a lot of the tan color to expose the green. A neat idea I guess but yeah, really doesn't look too good. So we're out here in my painting area I just um, put a coat of primer over the Humvee. I use this duple color. Uh, once this is dry I'll follow this up with Coat of this Krylon camouflage. This will be my uh, undercoat for the chipping. So I'll be right back once I have the Krylon sprayed. All right, guys. So I um, just finished coating or painting with the Krylon camouflage. Uh, Kind of an olive drab color. Um, uh, like I said earlier, this would be my base coat for the chipping, my undercoat, I guess. Um, once this dries, I'll apply the hairspray and the color and do the chipping. And this is the hairspray I'm going to use. Uh, I'm assuming it's water based, the first ingredient is water so I'm going to make the assumption that it's water based and because this one comes in a spray top I'm not going to bother to decanting it and put it in my airbrush um, if it had to pump on it I would because you don't really have much control it seems so I'm just going to coat this in hairspray uh, let it dry and then I'll put the base color on. Okay, guys, so it's been about <clears throat> half hour or so since I sprayed the uh, airspray. Uh, it's pretty dry now, so I guess at this point the only advice I can offer you is even when you're spraying the hairspray be sure to wear a mask because I'm sure that stuff is more toxic than any paint. Uh, for this I'll be using this Aztec airbrush. Oh, sorry about that guys, I couldn't get any paint through the Aztec so uh, I'm going to have to go back to the patch. Uh, I'm using a different compressor for that so when the compressor kicks in, it's going to get very, very loud. So, uh, apologies for that. chipping and give 
give it a few minutes for the water to seep in for the layer of paint. Sometimes this can take a few minutes. And then you need a fairly stiff brush. Uh, this one's a bit stiff. It's an old, just an old cheap artist brush. And then you're supposed to just chip away. As can see there, uh, see right there, and the paint chipped away to reveal underneath. Okay guys, so I went around and uh, did uh, some of the chipping. Uh, I definitely think I used the wrong type of, um, the wrong type of hairspray. But um, my first attempt, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, I just need to clear a bit away from the gas cover there that should be chipped a bit more. So, so yeah, it's definitely a technique I want to get better at. Uh, I think it's pretty much. You have to uh, you have to try to get a good method of chipping for building armor. I think it's you know, it's an essential skill to have. I think. But yeah, it's it was okay. See there around the hatch. I actually found using a toothpick as well as a brush. Um, it really helped. So uh, next up, uh, be working on the interior. Not really going to do a whole lot there. And decaling and some weathering to follow. Okay, so I um, after I finished the chipping, I uh, added a coat of uh, future, and then I laid down the decals and then once that was done I went over it and gave it a wash I uh, gave the wheels a wash and uh, the front bar as well so uh, just waiting for that to dry and um, then it just add a few more weathering effects and then final assembly okay guys so uh, Here's the uh, finished Humvee. Uh, it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Again, you know, it's a snap kit, but uh, you, know, you can really build them into some nice. You can really build them into some nice. Uh, addition to put on your shelf. Uh, the only aftermarket stuff I guess uh, that I used I bought the uh, UN decals. They're a little small because uh, you know it's hard to find it's hard to find um, 125 military so uh, the biggest I could find was one to thirty-five, and I added the chain to the push bar in the front. Used some uh, 
pastels around that grill on the hood. But um, the missile launcher on the roof here, of course, it was only three pieces, so you can't really expect too much detail. Did have a hollow barrel, which was nice. And I don't know if you can see, but I um, put some transparent green on the um, optics. Uh, just to add, just to break up the black a little. Uh, just to make it look like some... Just to make it look like there's some glass there. So anyways guys, uh, as always, please... Uh, Subscribe, comment, critique, and stay tuned for the next build. Thanks for watching.